Hello everyone. Um, this is a second video in a series of comparison of Garmin Tactics Delta and Garmin Phoenix 6X Pro. So previously I covered the uh, main differences of these two watches and today I want to look into their similarities. Uh, and especially um, I want to highlight uh, the fitness features and for many it will be quite obvious uh, the, these watches are strong at that but uh, when I actually switched from Apple Watch to Garmin I was fascinated by by the amount of fitness insights and uh, basically I felt like I had a digital coach on my wrist which was a really great experience. I want to run this experience uh, through you. Obviously, these watches do track uh, your activities, um, your amount of movement and exercises. And in my experience, I uh, was mostly into running and uh, jogging and uh, weight training and some minor other exercises. So what I, what I noticed in the beginning that um, while it's tracking your daily activity, your recovery, uh, basically everything about you, it also suggests appropriate exercises for your load, for your fitness level. And if we look into uh, training status, you can actually see uh, some main aspects of it. So you, it tra tracks fitness and the amount of load. Uh, it tracks VO2 max. Uh, it also tracks uh, your load throughout the seven days period, uh, which allows you to make sure you balance properly. And it also tracks four weeks load uh, and it tracks low, high and uh, medium aerobic uh, load. So it actually helps you to balance these out. And that was the first thing I was educated by, uh, by a Garmin watch uh, because my usual workout scenario is run as fast as I can, as far as I can. Uh, and this is not a very good approach actually. So uh, when I was educated by my uh, Garmin watch that there are different types of load and I actually have to vary them, I started using those suggested exercises, uh, suggested workouts. I started to balance out the amount of different loads and this was a huge benefit for me in a in ability to run faster and that's quite quite interesting because i would be running uh, jogging every other day uh, around six seven seven kilometers and it was very hard for me to improve my pace but once i started varying different types of load uh, i noticed that my pace is actually increasing and then I got very serious about those um, workouts, which Garmin is actually suggesting. And when you follow um, suggested exercises, it will vary between um, lower and higher loads. And when you're actually doing high loads exercises with sprint intervals, uh, it will notify when you need to speed up and slow down. And also notice that uh, audible audible cues which watches gives through um, earphones is also very useful because it's uh, it announces what kind of pace you are running and says if it's too high or too low if you don't wear earphones obviously it will show you the pace on the screen uh, and you can actually check when it alerts you but having earphones in actually gives you more information about you need to look into uh, into your onto your screen and another super cool experience which i had is basically a gamification of uh of various parameters so if you go into workout mode you can see that uh, vo2 max is being tracked and you can also see the table how it how it increases and some additional information uh, mostly you will have some additional information for each of those training aspects it's, it provides you uh, but yeah, uh, if you look into VO2 Max, I got hooked up actually into improving it. And it's interesting that for, for comparison, Apple Watch is also tracking VO2 Max, but they never got so interested 
in increasing my VO2 max or what it even is uh, until I switch to Garmin watch. So it's interesting how differently uh, provided data and how frequently it's displayed changes the way you 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 get interested into, into this. Um, and other aspects of uh, you, you you also get if you wear the heart rate monitor you get your lactate threshold tracked and uh, it also adopts the maximum heart rate and updates your heart rate zones which is a very convenient feature because uh, if you want to manually calculate your maximum heart rate it's quite a complicated task really and here as i understand it really automates that process when you when you're running as I mentioned, both of these watches do track uh, your recovery rate and um, heart rate during rest periods as well. So uh, I'm, well, I was quite fascinated by the definition of body battery. Basically, it also it uses your heart rate, your stress levels to evaluate how much load you have on your body during workout and also off the workout and and if you having a rest if you're having a peaceful time you actually reduce the amount of energy you consume and if you have a proper rest you increase that energy and what i noticed it was very interesting to capture that i i do work out every other day and i do need to get up earlier for that and i was so into improving my stats through this gamification uh, on, on, on the Garmin watch that I would skip some of those rest days and do some more workouts. But actually looking into body battery, I realized that if I get up every day as early as I need to do some workouts, I'm not uh, having enough rest. And that actually slowed me down in a positive way that I uh, didn't skip those rest periods which I need because I can see if I wake up earlier i do recover one night but if i need after the workout i need a longer night and i need a longer time to recover so that was really really positive experience as well um, another cool aspect about garmin watch tracking your sleep and recovery is that it actually gives you suggestions and advices based on your load and on the amount of rest you actually had so or even amount of stress you had during the day. So for instance, if you had a very good workout in the morning and you're having a stressful day, your recovery time uh, will be longer than if you would have actually good rest. I had a quite a uh, serious run this morning and it now says that I have 34 hours to recover. I'm recovering as expected, but if I will have a stressful day during today, uh, it will increase it will be not 34 hours but it will be a bit more and in some edge cases it will even show a notification that you're having a very stressful day uh, keep it uh, keep take it easy have a rest because your recovery rate has slowed down so that that was really really unexpected to 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 get such an advice from from the watch and another interesting aspect was that I, I like the gamification and I like to uh, increase the load while I was wearing uh, both Delta or 6X Pro. Um, and interesting is that I wouldn't really think about recovery or different amounts of the load if if watch would not literally educate me about this. So um, I had first one better balance load which had a big, big better impact uh, on my overall fitness i had a better rest between exercises because i understood the need for recovery uh, and third i had more pleasure doing that because because knowing that everything all the information i get is based on the data which is collected about me uh analyzed and those uh advices are actually based on what i do and are very precise uh if someone would say you just had a 12 12 kilometers run have a rest don't go for a run next day i would say i uh, not really i would i would like to go for another run <laughs> but if the watch is actually tracking my uh, my uh, 
recovery, my rest, my intensity, my everything. And it gives me precision based advice. You need to have a rest the next day. I, it's kind of, it's somehow it works differently for me. I just say, okay, you, you know better than me. I should have a rest. Um, and another aspect which I want to cover as well is that a customizability of workouts is really really high so for instance uh, if i do usual run it will suggest me uh, a workout which i usually will accept uh, so i don't care about alerts at this point because if i accept a workout it will alert me when i need to speed up when i need to have a rest when i need to um, to, to slow down and uh, i did a copy of same exact workout which i call run uh, zone two which basically i did set up as having a alert when i have higher heart rate than zone two or lower than zone two so basically it will ping me that i'm not uh, i'm running too fast or too slow and i have to high or too low uh, heart rate to actually target for aer uh, low aerobic load and you can actually do quite a lot with with alerts you can you can add pace time distance cadence calories celebration proximity another customizable run which i did set for myself was push chair run and, and this is for those cases when i putting my daughter to sleep um, and i want to have a run with push chair pushing pushing uh, pushing her in the, in the push chair and uh, I mentioned VO2 max, and usually in the run, VO2 max will track your uh, ability to keep the pace and your uh, heart rate. And if you are running slow, high heart rate, it will uh, reduce your VO2 max and will be inaccurate. So what actually uh, Ultra Run allows you to do in settings, you can uh, disable tracking of VO2 max and when you're actually running with heavier load uh, or for instance if you're doing an ultra run with a heavy backpack or, or whatever you can actually switch it off and again this is this is something that for comp in comparison with apple watch there would be not no such option if you're running you're running if you don't you you don't that's it and um, it's really awesome that you have such a detail of customizability in in, in runs in the next video, I will actually run through my might be quite unusual experience of switching from Apple Watch to Garmin Phoenix 6X Pro and what, what actually led me from ditching the Apple Watch and switching to Phoenix. Uh, big part of that was actually fitness feature features but i want to go into more details about customizability and and how garmin watches like specifically tactics delta and uh, phoenix are more usable and more customizable as smart watches as well which is was quite an unexpected experience for me so stay tuned for subscribe